Gracie, Gracie, there you are, Gracie. Hey, did you go ahead and get the tuna out so Papa can make some tuna and tomatoes tonight spread for sandwiches? Did you? You know, we got a busy week. It would sure be nice to make up some tuna and tomatoes, or is it tomatoes and tuna, for our sandwiches. What do you say, Gracie? Do you got it all ready? I got the maters fresh from the garden. Ooh, and it's chilly out there. Let me see what you got out. Oh, I wonder what she's got going here. Yeah. she got a little display going. <laughs> yeah, well, we put our maters over there. Plenty more tomatoes. But it might be coming close to the end of the season. We're supposed to get down to 29 tonight. But let's see what Gracie's got here. Well, she's got several types. So she must have something on her mind that she wants to talk about. I'll have to confab with her and see what this is all about before we get to making. Yeah, our tuna and tomato sandwich spread. I don't know if you'll see that now or later on. We'll have to see if you want to. You can always let me know in the comments below the video. Did a fine job there, Gracie. I really like the little display you got going on here. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll talk with our friends and family and tell them what we got going on and why you got it all lined up and on display. Well, hello there, friends and family. So good to see you again. Here in a little old country kitchen. Mr. Tom's neighborhood. And as you can see, we got still got our hoodie on because we just got in from picking some tomatoes. Because we're going to be putting together something later on tonight. Something we enjoy, and since we got an abundance of tomatoes still, here on uh, November the 28th, 2023, I thought I'd make some up. But yeah, let me get my hoodie off. And let's go over some things. Let's talk about the truth about tuna. And maybe some things you might not know. Well, I talked to Gracie. And she had them all laid out there. And she's got a reason behind it. Because she, she didn't know what type to pick out. And which was the best type to use tonight. Of course, they're all good. But there are some things to know especially if you eat tuna quite often, like I do. And the first one she's got right here is from the Bumblebee Company, Chunk Light Tuna and Vegetable Oil. Yeah, that used to be quite common, especially when we were growing up. You see, I can't ever remember having tuna that was in water back then. I'm talking about the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I'm not sure when the tuna and water came out, but I don't remember it. Maybe we did have it in the 50s and 60s. Let me know if you remember if we had tuna and water back then. But from what I remember, and I know what all the ladies bought in my family, they all bought the chunk light tuna and vegetable oil. And there are some benefits to that that we'll discuss a little bit later. The next can she's got here it's also from the fine friends at Bumblebee, Chunk Light Tuna and Water. Same tuna, just in water, then in vegetable oil. Said it's wild caught, too. And then she's got the solid white albacore tuna from our friends over at Starkist. And it's in water as well. Wild caught, too. And then lastly, she's got over here from our friends at Star Kiss, the solid yellow pin tuna. Ooh, that's fancy. In extra virgin olive oil. And then of course she's got this can she said was special. She found in the storeroom. It's from our friends at Chicken of the Sea. Chunk light tuna and water. She might wonder why it's special, but I can't tell you right now. That's for the end of the video. It's quite special, you see. So that we won't be talking about right now. <coughs> 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 
something we'll just talk about here right from the get-go is the bumblebee chunk light tuning vegetable oil. like I say this is what I remember growing up whether it was bumblebee chicken of the sea star kissed or what have you all we ever had was in vegetable oil. it's all I ever remember seeing in the grocery store now now something also to note if you're concerned about your health and that's why she's got these out here to look at is each different can type of tuna she's got set out here actually comes from a different species of tuna yes they do and your chunk light tunas whether it's in vegetable oil or whether it's in the water right here are primarily from the tuna fish species skipjack which is the smallest tuna species now why is that important you might be asking yourself well it's important because of mercury content yep that's the one thing you gotta watch all tuna has it but something you might not know is all seafood fish or otherwise has concentrations of mercury in it and since skipjack is the smallest tuna species it has the least of the ones we'll be discussing today and that's a fact and chunk light has the least mercury concentration and then the next larger size of tuna and it may be one of your favorites the albacore tuna the solid white I know it is for many whether it's from star kiss like I say bumblebee or chicken of the sea because it's considered white meat tuna but it's the next larger species up and it contains higher concentrations of mercury per serving than the chunk light skipjack tuna does and that's a fact and then the largest of the canned tuna species that we'll find here in the US and in most countries is the yellowfin tuna this just happens to be from star kiss and it's in extra virgin olive oil Ooh, fancy with roasted garlic well maybe she's wanting gourmet tonight and it's a larger species larger than albacore and of course larger than the skipjack and contains the highest concentration of mercury of the three varieties we have right here so there's your three varieties all stacked up right there so there's all three varieties or tuna species as they say your skipjack your albacore and your yellowfin right there so yeah the major concern with eating tuna is concentrations of mercury in its flesh the smaller species have the least and then as you go up to the larger species the albacore and the yellowfin they have higher concentrations of mercury and it's called methylmercury it's an organic mercury yes it is and here's some other facts you may not know methylmercury the organic type not metallic or inorganic is actually found in nature it's found in our soil in our water and in our air now that all being said there's also mercury that pollutes our atmosphere that is not natural and that is metallic mercury and inorganic mercury primarily from the burning of fossil fuels primarily coal that's a fact and once it gets in our atmosphere then it's deposited in our oceans and that's why ocean going fish have a higher mercury concentration per ounce or per part per million we'll say as it's measured than freshwater fish do but if you're thinking that crappie that bass that brim that perch that trout pike or what have you is mercury free you'd be wrong because yes indeed they also have mercury in them too so yeah it's hard to escape 
But can you still eat seafood, fish, fresh water, or salt water? Well, yes, you can. But you got to know how much is good for you and who should be eating it and who should not. But we're going to go over some more facts about tuna before we get into all of that. Now what we have here is the bumblebee chunk like tuna and water. And we're going to look at some nutritional facts right quick. Because it's important. And you're going to see here that one serving size is one can drained. Amount per serving calories is 100. Total fat is 1 gram. Which saturated fat? is 0.5, trans fat zero, cholesterol 55 milligrams, sodium 360 milligrams, and total carbs one gram, fiber zero grams, sugar zero grams, protein 22 grams per serving. And this one can, vitamin D 6% of your daily value, calcium 2% daily value, iron 6%, your daily value and potassium 4%. And that's in the chunk like tuna and water. And why is that so important? Well, let me show you some differences in the other tunas. Next up, we have the bumblebee chunk like tuna. As you can see, in vegetable oil, they're all the same size cans, five ounces. And if we go back to its nutritional facts, you'll see something glaring standing out. Yeah, and maybe this is why our mothers, our grandmothers, and great-grands bought tuna and vegetable oil instead of water. They were trying to get the biggest bang for their buck. And if you're stocking tuna up for hard times, to be prepared for whatever comes down the track, like the next SHTF or the apocalypse, you'll know calories are king. And this tuna, chunk light, skipjack tuna in the can, or in the tin, as they say, over in the UK, has 140 calories. It has 40 more calories than the same tuna, chunk light, in water does. Yes, it does. 40% more. Your total fat is 5 grams, right there. Your trans fat is zero. Your cholesterol is 55 grams, milligrams. Sodium, 360 milligrams, the same. Total carb, zero. Fiber, zero. Sugar, zero grams. Protein, 22 grams. Just the same as the tuna and water. Vitamin D is 6%. Daily value, calcium, 2%. Iron, 6%. Potassium, 4%. All things the same, this can of tuna, in the hardest of times, when your money's low or there's no other food around, will give you the most calories and energy per can of both types. And that's something just to note. Another thing that comes in quite handy is your chunk like tunas and vegetable oil. They suit well to certain dishes. Yes, they do. Especially if you're looking into the older recipes, like sometimes I do. But going up the food chain to the larger size of tuna species, here from Starkist, solid white albacore. This is also in water. Many people prefer it. And you can see here, its calories are 110. 10 more calories than the skipjack chunk like tuna and water has. Your total fat is one gram, zero grams of trans fat, polyunsaturated fat, zero grams, monosaturated fat, zero grams. They break it all out. Cholesterol, 40 milligrams. Sodium, 320, 40 milligrams less. Total carbs are zero. Protein is 25 grams. Yeah, so you're getting 10 more calories 
and three more grams of protein in the albacore. And then your vitamin D is still 6%, your iron's 4%, potassium 6%, niacin 70%, vitamin B6, 10%, vitamin B12, 60%, selenium, 170%. There's a lot of goodness in the albacore, but it does come as a cost, as I've told you. It comes in a cost in a higher concentration of mercury per can. And then right here, our last one we're going to be looking at before we talk about our special can a little bit later in the video is the Starkist. Solid yellowfin tuna. And extra virgin olive oil it is. And this is fancy with roasted garlic. So let's take a look at its nutritional facts. Woo! Look at right here. 270 calories per can. Woo, 160 calories more than the albacore. And 170 more than the skipjack chunk light tuna and water. And 130 more than the skipjack light chunk tuna and oil. So out of all the tuna brands I'm showing you, the yellowfin and extra virgin olive oil is a power packed house of calories. Total fat is 17 grams. As you can imagine, a lot more. Saturated fat, three grams. Trans fat, zero grams. Polyunsaturated fat, three grams. Monosaturated fat, one gram. Your cholesterol is 35 milligrams, pretty much the same. Sodium, a lot higher in this can, 500 milligrams. Total carbs are zero, fiber zero, total sugars are zero. Protein, 28 grams, the highest of all the tuna brands and species I've showed you so far. It's got 10% of your vitamin D, 0% calcium, 4% iron, 8% potassium, 90% of your niacin daily value, 10% of your vitamin B6, and 100% of your B12, and 200% of your selenium daily value. So just this one can of Star Crisp brand solid yellow fin tuna and extra virgin olive oil is power packed with calories, fats, and essential vitamins too. Did you really know that? Who knew, right? I'll be honest, I didn't know either till today. So there you have them right there. All four types. Well, it's three different tuna species from the smallest to the next largest to the largest that come in cans. Now, as to how much tuna you should be eating per week, according to the FDA recommendations, it's two to three servings a week. And if you're an adult, the serving size is considered four ounces. So that would be from eight ounces to 12 ounces of tuna per week. Now the FDA does not recommend tuna for infants or young children. No, they do not. Now at some point in time, they do recommend one to two servings a week. I'm gonna be leaving a link that you can go read and it's quite in depth and rather long, but reading's a good thing. It'll give you knowledge and expand your mind. And you'll know everything that the FDA has to say about tuna species, tuna consumption for infants, babies, children, and adults. So I encourage you to read it, and that link will be provided in the description below the video. I will also be leaving another link to Healthline, which is not quite as lengthy, 
but still got a lot of facts and it actually goes through several of the ocean going saltwater fish all the way from shark all the way down to the least smallest that is normally eaten as seafood that is normally consumed by most people around the world and it gives each fish parts per million of mercury content and that's good to know whether you're going out to dine on shark swordfish or king mackerel or what have you maybe some bluefin tuna and that's another thing I'll say bluefin tuna the prize tuna of them all yeah the ones that go for hundreds of thousands of dollars up to millions over in Japan's seafood markets they're the largest species of tuna and contain the highest amount of mercury so think about that the next time you're gorging on your favorite tuna sushi Ooh, it is good I must admit a little bit too pricey for this little old man's pocketbook anymore so yeah that's just some facts about tuna about what the mercury content is and the calorie content and vitamins as well so if you're stocking up tuna which is still a rather cheap protein for hard times and I would and I do pick up a few cans from time to time and stack them back in the pantry yes I do and I look for bargains but I primarily buy the chunk like tuna it's normally the cheapest and the most plentiful but now since I've learned a few things just here talking with you I might be looking into some more of this here yellowfin not a lot but it probably wouldn't hurt to have a dozen cans or more as well as the albacore because like I say calories is king and as you saw from the chunk light to the albacore to the yellowfin the vitamin content went way up too did y'all know all this because I'll be honest I didn't know it all till doing the research for this video now I promised you there'd be an extra treat at the end of the video and that's why Gracie got out a special can that she dug out from out back in the storeroom that she found and what did she find she found this can of chicken of the sea chunk light tuna and water now, I don't know if you'll be able to see that because I barely can and this is why this can of tuna is so special and we're gonna open it up that's because it has a best buy date of 2014 yes it does and I'm thinking I would have had to purchase it in 2012 so it's 11 years old and about to be 12 so hey this one we need to check it out and see is it still usable and fresh and yummy as can be let's check it out what do you say well we got her on a paper plate in case we make a mess open it up we got our handy dandy barbware can opener and we're just going to give it an open if it'll cooperate. Well, I'm not sure my uh, can opener is going to cut it open. It seems there's a problem with the lip on this can. So we're going to have to do it old school here and just get it open. As soon as I get her open, We'll be right back. Well, we did finally get it open. It had a rather slim ridge on the top. And the can opener wouldn't quite open it up. Well, looks fine to me. Let's give it a sniff test. Oh, it smells tuna-y. But hey, 
let's open up a can of bumblebee which is not near as old and put it beside it and this is your chunk light tuna and water and we're going to open up a can because I actually need two cans for the tomato and tuna spread I'm making tonight boy it's opening a whole lot easier yes it is I've got to get a pork to get that out because I'm not going to use my finger to open up that lid yep there we go looks the same to me yes it does this one's nearly 12 years old this is the chicken of the sea chunk light tuna and water and this is the bumblebee chunk light tuna and water let me get you down close so you can take a gander and see what I mean well I think you can see right there here's the bumblebee and here's the 12 nearly 12 year old chicken of the sea chunk light and water they look the same to me they smell the same now of course we got to give them a taste test okay and see and of course Gracie's losing her mind in the floor below me she can smell this tuna and she's coming unglued <laughs> calm down Gracie I'll give you a taste too well y'all I hope you learned something about tuna it ain't much but during the course of making the video I learned a few things too I learned you know I already knew about which tuna species had the least mercury and which had more and the most what I didn't know or didn't realize was the difference in calorie content like water chunk light and water and chunk light and oil albacore had more in water and the yellow pen an EVO had even more calories substantially more over twice of both types albacore or chunk light way more and then just the vitamin concentration much higher in the albacore and even higher than the albacore was the yellow pen who knew right but hey let's give this tuna a test and I'm gonna start here with uh, the chunk light from uh, Chicken of the Sea. Hmm? Hmm? It's not metallic. That's a good thing for being 12 years old. It's got that tuna tuna taste that we so enjoy. Hey, let's try the bumblebee. The newer version. And see. It's also chunk light, skipjack, tuna, and water too. Here we go. Mmm. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. I can't tell a lick of difference. No, I can't. Had to pretty up a little bit. I think I got some tuna on me. So, yeah. I hope this was educational, informative, and if nothing more, entertaining. And let me know in the comments below the video. Did you know all this about your tuna? And what you were eating? And like I say, I'll leave some very informative links that you have take a few minutes to read that will really expand your knowledge and enlighten you on all the packs of not only tuna but seafood in and of itself and I think that's important especially in these trying financial times where you're trying to provide the best for your families and get the most for your buck and if you're stocking up 
Yeah. Knowing the facts and not the myths is very important to stretch every dollar to get the very best you can for yourselves and your family. And like I say, Grace is losing her mind. She's wanting some tuna. And I always share. So hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed our little video today on this episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. And like I say, I learned something and I hope you did. And if you'd like to see me whip together my tuna and tomato sandwich spread, just let me know in the comments below the video. As well as let me know what your favorite type of tuna is and why. I think we could all learn from each other, like we always do, in the community comment section below each video. So hey, if you like what you see and if you learned a bit, remember to give us a thumbs up, share it with somebody else who might not be so informed. And always participate in the comments below each video. I'm really trying to step up my game in reading every one. And I do answer questions when they come up. But hey, as always, until I, the kitty crew, you know them all, Cleo, Speedy, Spooky, sometimes he Cliff, and Major Fluffy Muffin. And, of course, you saw the little Princess Gracie is at my feet, begging for tuna. See you all on that next video and episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm now the best you can. And live the best you can whether you, you have a little bit or a lot. And may God bless each and every one of you. As you bless those in your lives. And you know we love you all. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for watching till the end. And thank you for letting a few ads play. It really helps us out a lot. God bless you all, and goodbye for now. Gracie, Gracie, you want some tuna? You want tuna? Gracie, you want tuna? You want tuna? Gracie, Gracie, don't attack me. You want tuna? You want it now? <laughs> okay. Oh, she wants it right now, later all.